Khandas stands for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorders Associated with Streptococcal Infection. In a country like India, where the streptococcal sore throat infections are quite common, Pandas is less frequently diagnosed or reported. This raises doubts about the correlation and diagnosis of this neuropsychiatric condition. For a diagnosis of Pandas to be made, the following five criteria are to be met. First, pre-pubertal onset, commonly between 2 and 12 years. Second, abrupt and episodic exacerbations of symptoms. Third, neurological problems are commonly associated in the form of piano playing choriform movements, handwriting changes, enuresis and other features. Fourth, disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder and or tic disorder symptoms are present. Fifth, association with group A beta hemolytic streptococci. The evidence for recent group A beta hemolytic streptococci infection could be any of the following. Positive throat culture, raising or high levels of anti-streptolysin O titers or anti-DNAs B. The possible pathology is apparently related to corticostriatal thalamocortical pathway changes. With antineuronal antibodies noticed against the tubulin, lysogangliocyte, dopamine receptors and calcium calmodulin 2 dependent protein kinase. MRI can show basal ganglia changes consistent with inflammation but not always an accompaniment feature of pandas. There is no clear consensus on use of therapeutic or prophylactic antibiotics in children diagnosed with pandas. Sometimes use of immunomodulatory agents are considered like intravenous immunoglobulins, plasma exchange, steroids. These days, pandas is considered as the part of a bigger domain of neuropsychiatric illness called as PANS, Pediatric Acute Neuropsychiatric Syndrome. Remember, all pandas are part of PANS, but all PANS are not pandas. <laughs>